You're looking at Parliament Hill this hour. That's where a Black Lives Matter event is going to be held to mark Juneteenth. That date commemorates the end of slavery in the United States. Juneteenth is the newest federal holiday in that country, and across this country, several events are going on, in addition to the one in Ottawa. And we have David Thurton there right now following this story what for us. Happens. He is taking in Why all of the events and the significance this? of this day, a historic day. Uh, David, tell us, tell us what's happening. supposed to train. Hey, Marion, so the news conference hosted by Black Lives Matter is still going on. I'm just going to step out of the shot and you can just see Chantel Moore, the family of Chantel Moore, is speaking about their experience, how their family member died at the hands of police. This day is really about families. Families are sharing their stories. They're sharing what needs to happen, what needs to happen to reform, to defund, and to uh, disarm the police. I have one of those families with us right now. Uh, It's the family of Jermaine Carby. Welcome to CBC News. What is your main message that you want to tell to give to politicians today? You're gathered here on Parliament Hill. What is your message to the government? We want Trudeau and the government and anyone else involved that has the power to make a change, to start holding the police accountable. Police shouldn't be continuously killing family members. We shouldn't be out here right now. There's multiple family members out here who have been killed by the hands of police. And they're they're even allowing police to arbitrarily detain, you know, people and violate our charter rights. That's how Jermaine was died. That's how Jermaine was killed. And we just think that it needs to stop. We think that they need to to start holding their police accountable. They wrong. need to start having more training how to deal with people with mental health, how to try to de-escalate a situation without using excessive force. We don't want any more family members to die. There's been many before Jermaine, there's been many after Jermaine, and it needs to stop. Yeah. Do you think anything has changed since uh, Carby? No. Since 2014, yeah. it's been seven years, and there's and as nothing. about seven people here, this probably happened after Jermaine. Yeah. So nothing has changed, nothing's gonna change until Justin Trudeau does his job and all the rest of the people involved who are in power do their job and start holding these police accountable. We're tired of it. Okay, thank you so much. We really appreciate you like joining us. Uh, you know, Marianne, the message is to various levels of governments, you know, provincial, municipal, and federal. It was just about a year ago that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau took the knee at a rally to, in the wake of the murder of George, George Floyd, and people are, you know, asking, you know, what has been done and what is the Prime Minister going to do to tackle anti-black racism and the problems with police in this country?